I did one of these try-ons after the um, mommy makeover that I had done now 28 days ago, which is crazy. I did try on this, what is it called? For the Republic dress or something. Well, it's It'll be linked below, but this dress is from Amazon and I wanted to try it on again today. I can't actually do the top zip by myself, so that's okay. Yeah, oh, we have to mute her. Oh, no, mute her. Okay, so, um, but I think it looks even better on day 28 than it did on day 16 when we first tried it on. And I think that this neckline is really beautiful. It's an Amazon dress, you guys. The material is great for traveling because it's like that, it's probably some kind of polyester. It is lined, but it's, um, it's just like that material that won't wrinkle. You know, so it's great. It's just like a really great black dress. And I'm going to take these Tory Burch gold sandals with me. So let me, I'm gonna take them off just so I can show them to you up close. Hold up. Let's make sure I don't fall over. <laughs> Haven't been balancing in yoga for four weeks. Okay, so these are them. I got them on sale, I think around Christmas time or something. I'm pretty sure they probably still have them. They also had them in black, I think, but I just thought this gold was like a great shoe to pair with a lot of things. Um, everyone needs a little black dress. That's right. Some people need a hundred little black dresses, you know, no, <laughs> no. Oh, it's, it's on sale still. Okay. Awesome. So, and then you guys know that I love this gold Cobra bangle from Amazon. This is one of those ones that is like really expensive by another designer and I found it in Miami, like in Palm Beach and I was like, I'm not gonna pay that for that bracelet. So then what did I do? I went on Amazon and I got one for a quarter of the price because I think this bracelet is normally like 800 from the real designer, but on Amazon it was like down under 200. So I do wear this bracelet a lot because I think it just like pairs so well with things and I'll definitely take this with me because it's so easy and I'm not concerned about losing it. I'm not concerned about breaking it. It's just like a good piece and it's chunky and it looks cute with swimsuits. So, okay, let's get into this swimsuit try on. And also, because if you were in the app with me yesterday, you saw all my incisions and you saw how we taped them up. So I'm still taped. So. There might be at the edge of some of the swimsuits, probably some rippling of the tape that will show. Obviously that's not ideal. In, in Tahiti, I won't tape because I wanna make sure that I'm able to sunscreen a lot. So anyways, we'll be trying them on for fit. There might be some weird look right at the bikini brief bottom. And then let me just check the chat. You know, I'm gonna move this over here so I can see the chat. I think I can pop the chat out and make it bigger. Uh, let's see, I want it to be big. Yes. Okay, this might be better for me. Okay, so we've got Vonnie Madsen, Woman of the World, Al Glamour and Glitz, Andrea Dottie, Rita, Melissa, Jill, Ryan, hey Ryan. Um, Rita, Melissa, okay, you guys, so glad you're enjoying this. And who else, I just wanna make sure I get everyone. Okay, I think I did. Oh, Laura, Laura, welcome. All right, so again, this is the black dress from Amazon. It will be linked below. I am five foot two to give you a perspective. And I would say my weight right now is about 119 pounds. When I came out of surgery, I was 131. And so over the course of the last four weeks, that weight of all that swelling has just started to drop off. So. I was a little concerned when I came out of surgery because it's hard to tell, at least for me, how swollen I really was. And I was kind of like, well, I, I didn't really lose that much weight. And he said he took six pounds of fat out of my legs. So how the heck am I way more going out of surgery than when I went in? Because I think I went in at like 127. So now my weight makes a lot more sense to me than it did, you know, a week out. So I share that with you because I don't want anybody to stress because I know a lot of people get like, as, as lean and as in, in shape as they possibly can before they go in for a surgery like I did. And then when you come out, you're like, they took stuff. Why do I weigh more? So there you go. It takes some time for your weight to like adjust for the trauma that you endured. Okay. Oh, Trisha's here, Jeannie. 
Okay, guys, I'm gonna get on my first bathing suit. It's the fifth element one, or <laughs> I didn't even know that. Here, I'm gonna angle it down just a little bit so I'm not so like, yeah, maybe that'll be better. Um, when I put this on on the weekend to show Jason, he's like, that's the fifth element suit. I'm like, what's the fifth element suit? And then of course my sister saw that story and Christy knows everything. So immediately she like sends me this image of the fifth element suit. And I'm like, oh, it does kind of look like that except there was like more legs stuff to it. Okay, anyways. What we are terming the fifth element suit is this white suit. And I did break the tags off just so that they wouldn't get in my way because I am keeping all these things. And it is from, oh, now we don't know. Oh, it's it's a La Space suit and I did get this in medium. So I am gonna say that the suits that I got, you should, I sized up, like obviously like, my size is all over the place. In the Morena compression garments, I'm an extra small. Um, but then like some of these swimsuits, definitely medium. So, but then on Amazon swimsuits, small. So, you know, it's, you guys know. Oh, by the way, in case you didn't know, you know how at Lululemon, the sizes you typically run really small and then you're like in an eight or a 10, depending. They apparently have started redoing the sizes or maybe they just redid the sizes on the men's side. I don't know. But Jason and I went to the mall on Saturday because he needed some just new stuff, obviously, like when you're shrinking like he is, it's like every week he needs new stuff. And so we went to Lululemon because he likes like some of their tech shirts and stuff. And norm, like at Christmas, I was buying him a large. Now he's a small. And it's not just the weight, although the weight is impressive. It's, it's like literally they've changed the whole sizing, at least on the men's side. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. And I don't know if that's creeping into the women's side. Um, I get it. They just, they were... They're from Canada and now they're trying to like <laughs> fit our bodies finally, <laughs> our big American bodies. Okay, I'm gonna take this dress off and put this suit on and I'll show you what it looks like. Also, I do not have any like self tanner on or anything, but I will be tanning before vacation, which always makes things look nicer, but I have not done any tanning at this point, like any, I don't have any like self rub on or any spray or anything like that. So like I'm fully still surgery white. That's what we'll consider this shade of skin color, surgery white, which is acceptable after you've had surgery. Oh, and what size did I get this dress in? Okay, so the dress is in a size small, which is dressed by just the population. Oh yeah, I couldn't figure out which side of the of this swimsuit was the front also. That was confusing. But I think, I don't know. Hmm, maybe it can go either way. I think maybe it's this way. I may have tried it on totally different over the weekend. I guess really with this top, you can wear it either way. There's no rules. There's no, there's no tag to let me know. So therefore there, I have another swimsuit that I wear backwards because there's no way it would ever fit me in the front. So I have to wear it backwards. Okay. So here is what we are terming the fifth element swimsuit. Now you can see here is that embrace scar tape that I have, and you can see how it ripples, and I talked about that yesterday in the Natural Chaos app, how when you lay it down, no matter what you do, it will ripple, but it um, it's okay, because it, what it's doing is it's still stabilizing that incision so that you don't get as much pull on it, and I actually think this suit is kind of amazing. I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, this is my, might be, like, the best suit I've ever tried on, but it's, it's cute. Again, this one is La Space. And I can't remember if this one came from Anthropology or from Shop Up. It may have come from Anthropology because I think they have a lot of La Space swimwear right now. Um, you guys like this one? Okay, thank you. Let me see. You like this bandeau? Yeah, it's like a, yeah, well, when you have a chest, finally, it does, it is flattering because you get that, that nice arc raise, right? Um, like before I would have never had that kind of like look. Okay, I'm, I am drinking my water with the um, element in it. 
this morning I'm drinking the mango chili, which if you take that mango chili and you mash it with a mash with a um, mashed potato with an avocado, so yummy because there's like a sweetness to the mango chili, but then you also get the heat of the chili and the element is a salty uh, electrolyte. So you're getting salt, heat, sweet, and then you mash that with an avocado, you guys. It's super yummy. And it's a quick like guacamole take. Totally different type of guacamole, but yummy nonetheless. I saw more butts in Cancun. I say go with a thong, you only live once. <laughs> Rita, if I get the Colombian butt lift, we will be living in thongs, okay? Yes, I will walk to the grocery store in a thong. But until then, we're gonna we're gonna stay with some kind of brief because <laughs> it's not like it's that attractive for me that oh that tag so anyways yeah that's what it's looking like from the back if you guys um know what I've been talking about I feel like I'm a human mullet with who's been cleaned up on the front and I'm still a little still a little wild in the back it's not horrible and honestly it's gotten better even since last week last week when I took photos in that orange bikini and then turned around. I didn't even want to share them because I was like, it's so chunk. It doesn't even look like that person goes together. And, and now a week out as my arms have started to like, I haven't done anything, but it just seems like maybe the fluid is draining out more. So anyways, I actually like how this back is too, because if you do get that bra fat area, which a lot of us do, this is thicker and it kind of like keeps it together, you know? But yeah, see Rita, we're not wearing a thong yet. That would not be an attractive look. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna throw the back dress over here. Oh, I know what else I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so I did get another pair of Gucci glasses. They were on sale, of course. Jason says sale doesn't mean anything. I think it does. Um, he loves the top. Thanks, Daddy. Okay. I'm a huge, like, 70s sunglass person. Like, I just love big glasses. And then I saw these. And I was like, yes. Those belong on the beach with a bikini, a sugar-free Red Bull, a gold bangle, and um, a lip gloss. So, really happy with those. Oh, I know what I want to share with you guys. I don't even know if we can link to it. It doesn't even matter, but I'm going to let me grab it because it was what I got myself for my birthday. And you guys, I think it's going to look awesome. One second. Where did I put it? Oh, okay. I got this at YSL at East Saint Laurent and it is a little like necklace for holding your lip gloss and you can like shove some dollar bills in it or something, you know? But like, let's say you're going to the beach and you're just wearing like your bathing suit and some flip flops, sandals, slide on, whatever. And I just thought like, it was super cool. Like I had not seen this before and you could even like, I think you could like wear it like as like a side thing too but it's kind of like this like cool like little I don't know I don't know what are your thoughts I do wish that I could make it a little bit shorter it does hang pretty long but I thought it was kind of fun we'll see I don't know but I thought I would share that with you guys <laughs> it's very functional Jesus that's what I told Jason I was like hello like he's like what <laughs> he's like of all the things you picked there you picked that I said well I thought it was unique they had just gotten it in I've never seen anybody else use it and um, or have it, and I and I thought maybe maybe it would be helpful for me. Okay, let's see. Trisha says, Rita, I love it. I'm going for a consult tomorrow for CO2 laser. 70s glasses are everything. Just bought some Victoria Beckham. Oh, Victoria Beckham. I want to own something from her. Um, and finally, have a Sephora in London. Wait, whoa, 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 wait. Trisha, London doesn't have all these years. They didn't have Sephora. That is so crazy because the first time I ever shopped at a Sephora was back in 2002 when I was living in Europe and Sephora kind of came to France and Spain at that time. And that was like the first time I ever shopped Sephora. I didn't even know. And then when I came back to the United States, I started hearing about Sephora. How did it take London 20 plus years to get a Sephora? That, that is crazy. I had no idea, but you know what? 
this is what's insane to probably most people of all the places I've been and like all over the world, I have yet to go to England. I know it's, it is definitely something I have to like, like fix because that's crazy. Okay. Um, let's do like a little bathing suit cover up try on. I hope the lighting's working for you guys. I didn't want to do artificial light because it didn't look pretty. It's really dark and gloomy and rainy outside. So I'm standing in front of my uh, doors in our bedroom and trying to get as much light as possible. So this is the Les Space cover-up. And I hate spending too much on cover-ups, honestly, but this one, I think, was a winner because... It's really cute and I think it hits me at the right place. And anyways, oh, it also has these like gold, it's like a little, it's like there are little gold threads woven through here. I don't know how much it really picks up, honestly, but it's it's like a really cute one and the arms are kind of be bellowed, be is that what you say, bellowed? I don't even know, but um, fun, right? Jealous of your body. <laughs> Debbie, thank you. Well, let's see if we, let's see if Kim can keep this new body she paid for. <laughs> Cause that is always the fear, right? You do stuff like this and you're just like, it's amazing. And then you're like, I don't know. I just, I'm going to try really hard to like keep it and make it better now that I got this like massive, like, you know, improvement. So I don't want to like take it for granted. Oh, thanks, Alyssa. I'm glad you guys like this. Okay, so I thought that this was good. I'm again, I'm five foot two, so it's like hitting right above my knee. Which again, I hated my knees. I would have probably not kept this in the past had my legs not been lipoed because I would have felt like my knees look so fat. I hate how it's like cutting right at my knees. So, um, in fact, this might be better if it was just like a little bit higher, which is something that I would never say because typically I'd always be like. How do we get it past my knees? So um, that is a really nice change. All right, next bathing suit. Let's do a black one. So I have two black swimsuits to try on. I have one that's a bikini and then I have that same swimsuit but done in a one piece. Both are really beautiful and I just thought, I, I like them both, I'm keeping them both because I like one pieces too. Like, like just because now my stomach is flat doesn't mean I'm only gonna wear bikinis because I, I actually think one pieces look super sexy too. Um, I'm pea green with it <laughs> about the knees. I know people like would always say like, what's your favorite part of yourself? And I'd be like, mm, I guess my hair because it's the only thing that like seems to do well, you know? And um, now I'm like, oh, maybe my knee. I mean, they're still not like the most amazing knees, but I'm excited as I do yoga and get them like even tighter and more trimmed up and a spray tan. Maybe they will be my favorite thing. Okay, let's do the next swimsuit. Also, you guys remember, do you guys remember? Do you remember when I did a try on for going to Korea and I had that black carry on bag? I'll show it to you. Well, the seaming in it came, like started falling apart. So I took it back to Nordstrom over the weekend and I got, I exchanged it. They didn't have the black one, but they had this like taupe one. And I was like, oh, that's pretty. So I'll be taking this on the plane with me as my carry on, which I usually like pack a change of clothes and like my camera gear and stuff. That way it's easier for, easy for me to access. And, and then of course our in-air uh, like skincare routine. But this is, this is a great bag. The thing that's great about it is when you have like a piece of rolling luggage, like so many things these days, it has the zipper through thing so that you can lock it down on your carry-on or on, usually I don't do, I would only do this in a backpack. I wouldn't also do a rolling carry-on. So usually what happens is I have my big, my big, my big checked bag and then going to the airport, I have this locked on top of it rolling. And then once I check my bag, then I just have my backpack and I carry this like this with me. So the thing is you don't want to load this too heavy. Otherwise that gets really annoying, but the bottom of it unzips too. So that's where I put like other shoes or like if you have like really high end expensive shoes, like some of my Valentino heels or something, 
I will put them in this because I don't wanna check them and have something happen to them, right? That would be devastating. So a lot of times my higher end pieces, this is how I carry them on with me if I take them on a trip. So I make sure that they're always with me and not being checked because not that I've had a bad deal with checked luggage in a while, but I have had things stolen out of my bags in the past. This was earlier in life when I was like in Guatemala and at the Guatemala airport, they like stole everything out of my bag. It was the craziest thing. I don't know if that would ever happen again, but I don't wanna take chances. Okay, so the next suit we're gonna do, okay, this suit kind of gives me Miley Cyrus vibes in her flower, um, <laughs> flower music video, which by the way is another great music video besides Shakira. So let's, I'll get this on. This one is done by Solid and Stripe. I did return that Burberry swimsuit because I just don't think I can do string bikinis and with the scar and stuff and I didn't want to feel uncomfortable. Plus, I really, really hate tying string bikinis. I find them to be very, very difficult to do because I'm not talented like that. Um... This swimsuit top is kind of like a bra, and so I have to like put it on. Otherwise, I, I snap it weird. I don't know. I'll show you. Okay. Okay, so this is the solid and striped swimsuit. And the thing that I think is really cute about it is it does have these like panels on it that are um, meshy rather than just solid. So you kind of get a different texture as you're looking at it. And it does that same texture up here. And again, like I have that tape stuff on and it's almost being completely covered by this swimsuit, which is awesome. And I don't know what it is, but there's something about this suit that reminds me of Miley Cyrus in her um, flower video. And I need to go back and watch and re think of like why I think that. She must have had something that was like this and kind of meshy or something. Oh, the underwire fell on my bra. Um, you know, it feels, good question. Now, I haven't worn any of these like for more than a few seconds and trying them on, you know? But the underwire is like, it's not right at the incision. It's actually like more on my rib cage right here. And maybe because that whole area is taped up as well, it doesn't feel like it's it's like on it because yeah, it doesn't it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. So I'm I'm happy about that too. And then this is what it looks like from the back. And I just think it's I think it's pretty great. So happy with that. Okay. I'll probably need a lot of people's input on this because this cover up from Solid and Stripe also, which I think is really cute. I kind of in my mind thought it was coming already pre-tied. You know how there's those sarongs or those like skirts that you, I have one from Veronica Beard where it looks like you kind of tied it, but you didn't. It was like already kind of put that way and then there might be a side zipper. Those are the kinds of things I like. When I bought this, I kind of thought that was it. I don't know why. I probably should have read the instructions, but it's not. It's just a piece of eyelet material, which means I have to figure out some way of being creative to try to, do, to tie this, which it's, it's a pretty thick material to be <laughs> knotting, but I thought it was, I don't know. I just loved how its eyelet was. Do you guys see that texture? It's like really, really beautiful. And, um, oh, thank you guys. There's so many people on watching you guys. You guys are so sweet. Oh, you love this. I think because I'm short, but probably, I mean, that shouldn't even matter. Probably anybody could do this too. Is I'm assuming besides the side, the side tie like that, I imagine, I haven't even tried this, but let's see. I imagine this piece of material is long enough to do, okay, it might not be actually. <laughs> I might choke myself trying to do it like that. Uh, Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work, but 
Hmm. I don't know. It's, it's kind of an expensive wrap. I'm, I mean, it's over $100 and it's eyelet material. So, I, But I just thought it was pretty. I just need to be better at tying things like this. So maybe, maybe Ryan has some ideas or you guys have some ideas because you guys always come up with good ideas on how I'm supposed to do stuff. Um, you could hold it there with a hair scrunchie. Yeah. You know, I think what I'll do today is I'll jump onto Amazon and see what kinds of like little cool goldy things they have for like, maybe like securing things like this or something. Cause I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't, yeah, you can't do it like that. <laughs> um, so this will be one of those puzzles that I play with and I probably look like a big dork trying to do it. You know how people like just know how to tie scarves or know how to wear sarongs and then there's me and I'm like, I'm not really sure how that's supposed to fit. Um, wait, okay, wait, I missed that one. That would be super cute if you could tie it behind your neck. I know, I thought so too. It's it's this material. It's it's too stable of a material to be able to really like cinch it. And the only example I saw when I was buying this was that she had it tied around her waist. So I guess that's how it's going to be. But I thought it would be like, I thought it could make really pretty photographs too. Um, so I don't know. Jason says he's gonna help me take photographs. This is one of the things we've been talking about. I said, you have to help me. I wanna have beautiful photographs of like all the different bathing suits and everything that we're taking. And he's like, yeah, I'll do it. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> we'll see. He, yeah, I don't know. It's a whole different story about that whole thing because it's difficult sometimes doing the content always by myself, but I know he wants to help more. Okay. So now we're gonna put on the one piece, same maker, same like style idea, just they did it in a one piece too. So if you're like, oh, I like that style, but I really want a one piece because I know that feeling because I'm a one piece person too. I'm gonna show you how cute this suit is. This is a great suit. Is anybody on who lives in Northern California? If you are, can you just believe the rain? I mean, I I think it hasn't rained like this in my entire life since, I think 1995 was the last time I can remember every day of winter raining. And that's also the year we had the Feather River broke at Dyke and we had flooding all through Sacramento. I just cannot believe the amount of water we're getting this year, which is, I almost feel like it's biblical, you know, like we've had a drop for like 15 years and now all of a sudden we're getting rain. Okay, so here's this one piece. Do you guys see how cute the cutouts are on it? And then it has the belt. And it's like a cute like belt on it. So I think this would be super flattering on so many people's frames because these lines make you look so much slimmer. Oh, Carolina, that's so sweet. She says, tell her a light blue suit will be perfect for her because she has the best eyes. Oh, you guys, you're terrible at tying scarves, Debbie. <laughs> Ah, I know. Okay, wait. Ashley, she says, yes, I live in Santa Cruz Can County. I'm over the rain. Girl, it is just crazy. Like, I've never experienced day after day of hail even. It's crazy. Um, yes, exactly. I'm glad you brought that up. So she said you could wear that with jeans too. Yes. The, the thing like this that's great is that it looks like it could be just a great kind of fitted um, top. So... I did get some shorts that we can try on. So here are these kind of just, who makes these? These are by Joe's, Joe's jeans. And these are just like a kind of a stretchy, um, obviously charcoal distressed at the cutoff jean. And maybe they're not the best with this one, honestly, but the blue jean one might be, but the only thing is, is, I think if I wore this as a top, I'd probably remove the belt just so that 
it didn't create that break there, you know? So like, that would be cute. Oh yeah, I think that that's like nice, right? Okay, but let's see it with the blue jean on because the blue jean might be cuter. These, this one is DL 1961. I don't think I've ever bought anything from this brand. Um, Trisha, Laura, Laura, where are you from in England? Oh, you guys are, oh, what size are the jean shorts? Great question. So the ones that I just put on, these gray ones by Joe's, I have them in a 27 and they are a four inch inseam. So if you, if you like to buy shorts based on inseam, this is a four inch. Four inch has always been pretty ideal for me because of my legs being so short. I feel like four inch makes me feel somewhat covered, but not like too short. Okay, so this one then is kind of like a baggier, kind of just like loose, casual jean short. And I felt like I might even like, I don't know, I'm tr deciding on what short I'm gonna wear when we arrive. I'm gonna like fly in comfy, sleepy clothes, you know? But when we land there, I'm gonna change into like shorts and a tank top. So I'm trying to figure out what that outfit will be right now as well. Um, did I ever tell you? I think these are 27s, did I miss that? Yeah, so these are a 27 and I think these ones might be a 27 also. Let's see. Yeah, these are a 27 as well. Okay, all I have to say, you guys, is can you believe that in one month the body can be this transformed? It's like magic. It has nothing to do with me. Like, it is a crazy, crazy thing. I can see why people get addicted to plastic surgery. That one looks good on you. Oh, thanks, Chichu. Oh, you guys are so sweet. You love the blue ones? And a strappy heel. Yes. Okay. I'm loving that, you guys. Gosh, I wish you guys could be with me and just help me like always arrange things because sometimes I'm just, I feel, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let's see. I have this just bodysuit that I'm also taking there. So I was gonna try this on with both of the jeans. I know we kind of just did that concept with the swimsuit, but give me a minute, let me try this on and then we'll swap the jeans in and out too. I'm also going to take my Tory Burch slides with me, so I'll share those with you. I have a goal of buying a pair of, I can never say it because it's French, and so of course that means I'm going to butcher it, but the Oran slides from um, Hermes, or Hermes, and, and um, but at the LAX airport, which is what we're flying through to Tahiti, they have an Hermes duty-free store. And so I'm hoping to be able to get a pair down there, but if I don't, then, then it wasn't meant to be. But when I know I can get a deal, I'm just gonna try to get the deal, you know? Like, I don't wanna, with, with luxury goods like that, I just feel like I want the deal or I don't really want them, I don't know. I feel like the deal is always what's meant to be. Okay, so this is just a bodysuit, tank bodysuit that I got. This is this came from um, Nordstrom. So it's just like a ribbed bodysuit that I feel like is just like the perfect thing to go under everything. And so like with our black shorts. Let's see. The Oran, yeah. <laughs> Melissa's like, there are so many dupes for those Oran um sandals i know i know i know they just had these like sparkly ones that just like seem so per special and i don't know okay so here are those jean shorts i'm going to take like a white button-up tee kind of like a just like a white shirt you know to kind of like wrap with these things too and then these jean shorts i'm trying to keep my clothes as capsule like as possible for this trip just because that makes everything easier on me but I will be taking some color some other dresses but they're dresses you guys have seen me wear in the past although 
I'm gonna take that a couple of those dresses I never wore last fall. I'm gonna take that, um, you know what? We should try that on. It's not available, I don't think, anywhere else, but we I haven't tried that on in forever. Um, okay, yeah, you guys, this is a fun, just like easy look, right? And then we, okay, now let's accessorize it. I'm gonna throw on those shades. <laughs> We're gonna throw on my lipstick carrier. And, and I'm ready, I'm ready to go. <laughs> and I, I think it'll be awesome. Okay, so do you guys remember that Burberry dress? I've been wanting to try it, not, it's not Burberry, it's a burgundy dress. I've been wanting to try that burgundy dress on since I had this thing redone and see how everything is fitting. So definitely when I'm done going through the things that I have planned, I'm gonna try on that burgundy dress because I, I wanna see what the deal is with that. So, and then those other swimsuits that we tried on two weeks ago, I'm taking those too. So I plan on having a lot of those like muted um, tone suits. Like, actually, I threw them in this bag because I didn't want to get confused on what I was doing. But we'll be taking this dress too. So, you know, we tried this on last week, or last two, two weeks ago. I will also be taking just those board shorts. And then um, here are like the different other suits I'll be taking. Yeah, okay, let me see. So I will have some, I, I will have some color. So we're gonna have this neon one from Amazon, goodbye. This kind of, um, I don't know what to call it. Oh, it's a rust color from Amazon. Okay, I'm kind of sad now that I kept this Tory Birch white one. It's not horrible, like it's good. But when I tried on the list face one, I was like, oh, I like that one better, but I had already pulled the tags on this, so it's mine. So we'll be taking that one too. And um, I just like the list face one better now. And then this one from Amazon. So those are the other kinds of colors. Oh, and you know what? We can't leave home without that red suit. I'm really happy with that billabong red suit, so we'll be taking that one too. I just want a lot of options. And and then I do have this one piece billabong one too. Or no, maybe this is rip curl. I I like doing a lot of active sports in the water. Like I love paddle boarding and um skiing and, and wakeboarding and all that kind of stuff. So I wanna make sure that I have a swimsuit that I can do more active water things in. So that's why I'm taking this one too. So <laughs> that's what's in this bag right now. Okay, let's get on. We have a couple last things to do. This dress, you guys, this dress is beautiful. This is also a list face and I'm gonna try this on for you. This will be a great dress to go out to dinner at night in. Okay. It's getting a little brighter in here, which is nice. I'm gonna try to do good photos and all of this stuff today just to be able to like do a great like mashup of what 20 days out looks like. But guys, look at this dress. Isn't this like such, and if I was tan, you know, and not so surgery white, I think this would be so much nicer. Um, <laughs> the Hermes is goals. I fully me. well, okay. Does anybody follow my friend Malibu Toast? Like she and I became friends on TikTok and I didn't know who she was until she um, said something about how horrible it was that I lost my YouTube channel. I was like, who is this girl? And so she and I like chat and talk sometimes, but last week we had a lot of conversation and I asked her, I said, if I was ever gonna buy one, cause she like buys a lot of Hermes, like she's loaded apparently. Um, I asked her, I said, if I was ever gonna buy one thing from Hermes, like what should it be? And she's like, well, you know, you, you can't go wrong with like the traditional Oran slides. And I was like, yeah. 
And she's like, you know, but the misconception is that everybody thinks that because the Kelly bag or the Birkins are $40,000 and you can't get them, that everything there is that way. And, and she was right. Like I had never even gone to their website because I was like, so like, oh, it's like so much more expensive. But honestly, their shoes, their scarves, um, those kinds of things are all like the same price point as other luxury goods. It's just their bags that get exceptionally expensive. So, I mean, that was an interesting thing I recently learned. You like the black shorts better than the other black ones? Okay. Um, that, okay, Jeannie says this is chic. I, I think so too. And I'm five foot two and it is not hitting the ground. It's like right above the ground, if you can see that. And I'm in flats. So that means it would also work with my gold sandals, which would be pretty. But this is just like such a smooth fitting dress. Like it's so nice. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall out of any of this. It's just like good. So I would say the only issue I'm having is kind of like where this band is hitting. I'm not sure where it wants to be. So I'm gonna kind of like watch that. But beyond that, like I think like this is such a winner and I'm um, really happy I found this one. Okay, before I get on the burgundy dress, I'm gonna show you a little sleep set that I got from Anthropology that I think would be beautiful for um, the tropics too, because it's like super lightweight and silky. Okay, so here's this like sleep set and you can see how pretty it is and just like light and um, flowy, but you could also tuck it into the shorts to give yourself like more of a waist. And then <laughs> I actually thought it worked really pretty as a top, <laughs> like with the jean shorts and maybe like some kind of lacy bralette. I thought it could like look pretty good. So that's like one thing. I mean, Jason like said to me, he's like, it, you look like you're wearing a pajama shirt. I'm like, no, you only think that because I first showed you it was a pajama shirt. If I had never shown you that it was a pajama shirt, you would have never thought anything else. So um, anyways, I think that this sh shirt could work really well. It's like a pretty top too. So, you know, you get some range, especially as you're traveling and you want more pieces. Um, I know, silly Jason, right? Like he's always trying to be a buzzkill when it comes to dressing. <laughs> um, all right, let me grab that burgundy dress. I'll show it to you guys to remind you what it was. I got it last fall on Shopbop. I think I bought the last one, so it's probably, we're not gonna be able to source it, but I just wanted to try it on and see how it was looking. Do you guys remember this one? So I thought I was gonna wear it down in LA and then I didn't, I don't know, I think it was because I was cold and this dress is like, it, it's literally like a handkerchief. Like there's nothing to this dress. So um, I think maybe Tahiti will be a good place for it because it should be warm there. get into it hopefully I don't rip it I don't even remember how this dress works or is there a zipper or anything on it doesn't look like it okay let's try to get into it Bangle. 
I need one of those. I was just thinking about it. I was like, oh, if I do more of these try-ons, I need to get one of those like French or Asian um, dressing. I don't know. What do, what do they call them? Like a dressing, it's not a shield, but like some kind of dressing, um, you know, where I can go behind it and dress. And then, um, see, this is really hard for me to do myself, I think. But you see how high it cuts on the one side? And then you, there's like a little thing back here. I don't know if I can do it myself, but there's a, why do you make this so hard? Apparently everybody needs a dressing assistant for some of these things. It's like Downton Abbey. You need your like woman maid, your, your female, oh, the lady's maid to help you dress. Trisha knows what it's all about. All of our UK friends who, uh, <laughs> Okay, I can't do it myself, but it's so frustrating that I can't do it myself. Why can't I do it myself? Okay, the arms. Anyways, I think this could be really, really pretty for a night at dinner with Jason there, and it'll work great with these, so I don't have to take, like, another shoe. I have a coffee that I gave 500 euros for full leather as I'm never going to pay the money for a Birkin. Well, okay, you guys, I have to tell you this story. If you ever see me carrying that yellow Chanel little bag, that is a fake, but it is such a good fake. So that little yellow Chanel could be like a $5,000 bag at Chanel, right? When we were in China, we went to one of these exclusive like hidden closets that are knockoff closets. And so that little Chanel was like $300, but the quality of it is so good that even when I was carrying it through the markets of other knockoffs and they sold Chanel knockoffs, they were like, oh, but you don't want one because you have a real one. And they were like checking it out and they were like, this is so nice. And I was like, it was passing. It was passing for a real bag in the world of people who know fakes. So all I have to say is like, if you want the look, there's nothing wrong with a fake, but spend, you're going to still spend some money, like Trisha just said, 500. You're still going to spend some money to get a really, really good fake that can pass, but they can pass. Like, you guys, no joke. Okay. Anyways, maybe it was real. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, the The way I know that it's not real, and this really comes down to color match, is um, Chanel made a yellow bag like that, but the yellow would never be exactly the same dye lot. So if you were ever to find the original and compare them, I don't know if it would be noticeable to the naked eye, but definitely to somebody who can do dye lot tests, it, it wouldn't be the same. Um, maybe it fell out of a truck. <laughs> Yeah, you know, all those like really high-end luxury bags are just always falling out of people's trucks. Like, why can't they get it together? Okay. Oh, you know what's also cool? My new Gucci um, I, uh, baggy, but uh, what is it called? Sunglass case is like, huh, huh. Um, anyways, okay. Obviously, I can't put this dress on myself, but you guys get the idea. And if I wear it there, then um, Jason will have to do it for me in the back, but it's really pretty in the back the way it does it like this. Okay, one last thing. I forgot to bring it out and I meant to. Before you guys go. Is this is what I have on my face. So it's the that new silk collagen ampoule by Easy Do, you guys. This stuff is so nice. I. Ever since I opened it up yesterday, I um, have been obsessed with it. Like, I put it on again last night. I put it on this morning. Like, I'm, like, rubbing it everywhere because it's so silky. So, it's a firming, tightening, whitening. Okay, those are, like, everything I want. So, yes. But look at how it's so milky and smooth. And this is a new release. So, I believe that it went live yesterday, right? Yes, and we'll and I'll be using it on Amazon. <laughs> Most of the time, I'll be using it on Amazon on Thursday. Yes, I will. But um, 
It has a really pretty scent. We are doing a giveaway in the Natural Chaos app, uh, and that is one of the things that's included in it right now, but it's a new product, and I think it's a really, really good one. Like, winner, winner here. So, anyways, wanted to make sure that I reshared this, because if you're looking for, like, more skin hydration, this one's really beautiful. Oh, is Jane here? Yes, we will, Melissa, let's, hey, Jane Blanco, let's make sure that we add this into the lineup in the description list below. Um, and you know, Easy Do, like, they're so good to us. Sometimes they do, um, well, it's like off the shoulder. Sometimes they do a special promo code. We don't have anything like that yet, but um, maybe in the future we will, but I, I'm obsessed and this is brand new. So it might sell out. I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm the only one who really talks about Easy Do. I don't know how it hasn't become more mainstream in the United States, but it's a fabulous product line. Jane, you missed all my try-ons. <laughs> but it's okay, Jane, um, because this will be saved and you can watch it later. And I'm going to, what I'm gonna do now, once I wrap this up, is I will re-photograph myself and everything and I'll make a mashup for like Instagram and YouTube so that you can see everything that I did really quickly. And then in the description, I'll also link to it. So that's another way of easily finding stuff, all right? You guys, you have made my Tuesday amazing. Thank you so much for joining me for this live and for the premiere previously. Today is day 28 post mommy makeover, but the video that I just premiered was days three through five. So if you wanna watch that and see how in agony I was and how just like hunched over I was. It just really shows what a month after surgery, it's like night and day, night and day. So if you're in the midst of it, just hang in there. I know day eight, I got super depressed, but then you get better, okay? And I just wanna reassure you guys and have a wonderful rest of your day and week.